So I just got my Oberheim OB-1 back from the shop. Um, for anyone who needs to know or wants to know, I sent it to Patchworks NYC, uh, or Patchwork NYC. Um, and a uh, great shop, a guy named Peter uh, fixed it up for me. It took a little while because he was very backlogged, but he did a fantastic job. Um, so I'll just go over some of the functions here. This is a model from, I believe it's 1978. I haven't checked... Um, online yet when this was introduced, but I, I would have borrowed this from my good friend, Bob Lewis in 1981. Um, this very one, in fact, and, um, I used it on the first film soundtrack I ever made, which was Splatter University, uh, which came out, um, it was distributed by Troma. It was made by a guy named Richard Haynes, Richard W. Haynes, who went on to do a whole bunch of other horror and indie uh, action films. Um, sorry about the traffic noise outside. And, um, so this is the OB one and, uh, Bob loaned me this, uh, for the making the soundtrack, um, for which he got a credit in the film. Um, and then soon after that, I bought it from him. Um, and I just love this piece. It's very limited. It's a monophonic analog synth, but it just has a really kind of beautiful kind of classic classic filter sound um so i use this for a lot if in the film soundtrack i used it for a lot of bass arpeggios so this does not have an arpeggiator nor any kind of sequencer quite obviously since it's quite old um so i literally just played those patterns in <laughs> and didn't have digital editing to fix it up so it sounds pretty sloppy in the film. It sounds like I played it in, um, and it's fast. It's da 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 da. It's something that should have been done on a, on a sequencer or an arpeggiator, and I just didn't have access to one at the time. So um, just real quickly, um, it does have some program memory. Uh, so this will remember whatever you've patched in here, whatever you've basically tuned in on the dials and the controls. Uh, you hold down the right button and then press whatever slot you want to. Re um, remember it to. Um, then you can switch back to uh, manual mode at any time, and then you know you can you can uh, change you know the, the sound. Sorry, I'm really close, and it's probably making you sick to watch this. Um, so you can change it, and then you can always go back and recall that. So I just went between manual and the saved memory I had. Um, so it's got uh, the usual LFO settings, uh, sign square, sample hold, rate, delay, uh, portamento. Um, it's got a real fun. I love this, um, this pitch bar. It's just, it's super fun to use. Uh, you can have it uh, control both oscillators, just uh, VCO2 only, make it narrow, broad. Um, you can change. You can uh, have it a mod wheel effect instead if you want, uh, p instead of pitch. Then you've got the two oscillators here, uh, VCO1 and VCO2. I mean, you can see this is pretty self-explanatory what, what is in here. Um, and uh, you can sync them, obviously. Um, always sounds better unsynced. Um, then you've got the the filters, the filter um, settings. So you got frequency, obviously resonance, um, the di the different modes, the amount of modulation, um, keyboard tracking. You can add some noise if you want. Um, and there's various other things here. Then you've got obviously the VCF. This is the um, uh, the envelope for the filter and the envelope for the amplitude. Of the, of the sound. And over here you've got, I haven't actually figured out what programmed volume versus manual volume does. I know I knew this at one point, but it's been a very long time since I've touched this instrument uh, and or even thought about it. So um, I, it, I'll have to look that up. I have not looked at the manual yet since I got it back. I literally just got it back the other day, two days ago, and I'm just having time to mess with it now. So I'm going to make a short video of laying down uh, a synth track, that patch that I made, uh, number four, um, for uh, the score to Under Dead Water, my, pod, my audio drama podcast. 
and um, I'll stop the video here and then I'll connect them later.